Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> Great, happy to hear that. Okay, well, let's begin. Um, just give me a second as I get the attendance list ready for you. Just a moment. Okay, here we go. I'm going to uh, call your names. When you hear your name, please let me know. Okay. Okay, thank you. We begin. Um, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Just give me a second, please. Okay, I'm sharing the screen now. Okay. Here I go. Okay. Now, um, I want you to take a look. So, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Is Adán Iglesias here? No. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Good evening. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramirez. Good evening, teacher. I am present. Okay, thank you. Adán, ahí está levantando la mano. Presente. Okay, thank you. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you. We have a chat entry. Okay. Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. David Antonio dice que estará conectado. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Presente, teacher. Thank you. La los trastes. <laughs> Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Here I am. Okay, thank you. José Amil Carreyes Cruz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazaba Calderón. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio.
Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Hello. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher present. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Presente. Thank you. Okay. Oscar, Oscar Susana Castellano. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present. Thank you. Okay. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Ok. Llamaremos asistencia al final nuevamente, entonces. Ok, everybody, take a look. David Antonio, yes. Good evening, teacher. Por no. motivos de trabajo, solo voy a estar conectado. Ok, thank you. I read your message. Thank you very much. Ok. Seguimos entonces. Chat. Edith Consuelo dice presente. Ok. Presente, teacher. Ok. Thank you. All right. Let's begin. Everybody, take a look. This is Inglés Principiante, Módulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 14, and today is June the 13th of 2023. So what are we going to do? Well, take a look. Give me a moment. Okay, so here's the thing. It's the grammar focus that we were studying yesterday. Simple present WH question. So what do you have? What sports do you play? That's the first question. So I play hockey and baseball. The second one is who do you play baseball with? Okay, I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so everybody take a look. These are uh, simple present WH questions. So. They begin with a WH word or a WH phrase. For example, what sports, who, where, how often, when, and what time. Okay. Enrique Perez se va conectando. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Okay. We continue. So, um, that's the idea. So the WH word at the beginning or the WH phrase at the beginning of the question indicates exactly what kind of information they need to know or what kind of information you need to know. Okay. So it's very important when you say, for example, who, you mean people. When you say how often, you mean frequency. 
When you say where, that means place. When you say when, that means time or occasion. What time means specifically the time, etc., etc. So, again, we have this. Study the word order, right? For questions, you need to use the auxiliary do or does in present simple. Then the subject, and then the verb in base form. Okay? So, how does it work? Take a look. You say, do you play the guitar? That's the first one. Do you play the guitar? Do your friends live near here? Does Chris work on Sundays? Does it rain a lot here? These are yes, no questions because you answer them by saying yes or no. Okay. But then you have information questions when you have words like where, how often, what, how much, where do your parents live? Now they need specific information about a place. So where do your parents live? They live in Santa Tecla. You say, my parents live in Santa Ana. Okay, they live in Zacatecoluca, et cetera, et cetera. How often do you wash your hair? You say, I wash my hair every day, or I wash my hair every other day. What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? How much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? I don't know. <laughs> $500 maybe. What do you do means what is your job? So when they ask you, what do you do? You can say, I work in a bank. You can say, I work at ANSP, right? ANSP. So what do you do? If you ask me, I'll say, I am a teacher. What does Sandra do? She is a librarian. Es bibliotecaria. And finally, wait a second. And then we have this, what does your brother do? You have, he works in web design. So those are some answers that you can give when people ask for your profession. Give me a moment, my camera is not working properly. Just a moment, please. Okay, here we go. So, um, Yesterday, we completed this activity. Write three WH questions. Share your questions with the class. Use any of the following question words, okay? Which are what, when, where, who, why, how, how much, how many, what time, etc., etc. Now, you are going to do this other exercise, okay? Exercise number two is choose the correct subject. What is the subject? I want you to look at this. You have how much does blah, 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 cost. So you have to select the correct subject. It's the ticket or the tickets, okay? So what's the right subject here? Is it the ticket or the tickets? If you know, please raise your hand. Maria de Lourdes. The ticket cost. How much? Okay, C can you read the whole question, please? How much does the ticket cost? How much does the, the ticket cost? That is correct because the ticket is it. Okay, so you use the auxiliary does with the subject it. So how much does the ticket cost? That is correct. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. What about number two? You need to select the right uh, subject. Where do your daughter live or where do your children live? Which one is correct? Only one is grammatically correct. Solo uno es gramaticalmente correcto. What is it? Vamos, no tengan miedo. Solo hay que seleccionar. Ever Enrique and then Baudilio. Mantenga su manita levantada mientras no haya participado para que no se me olvide. Okay, Ever, number two. Where do your daughter live? Where do your daughter live? Okay, if we notice when you say your daughter, that's the equivalent of she. Cuando uno dice your daughter es el equivalente del sujeto she. Y con el sujeto she utilizamos el auxiliar does, no do. Entonces, ¿cómo sería, Ever Enrique? 
Where do your children live? Where do your children live? That is correct. But why is it correct? Because when you say your children, that's the equivalent of the subject pronoun they. So is where do your children live? Where do they live? Okay. Thank you. Baudilio Lenilson, number three. What time does the class start? The class, the first option. Yeah, the first. Okay, that is correct. What time does the class start? So you say the class is the equivalent of the subject pronoun it. Therefore, when you say what time does the class start is like saying what time does it start? Thank you, Vaudilio. Very good. Number four, volunteers. Okay, raise your hand if you know the answer. Maria Magdalena. When does the festival finish? When does the festival finish? That is correct. Very good. When you say the festival that is the equivalent of the subject pronoun it. Therefore, when you say, when does the festival finish? It's like, when does it finish? Correct. Very good. We have a chat entry here. Erika Beatriz dice presente. Bueno, tomamos su asistencia. Thank you. All right, let's continue. Number five, volunteer, please. Adán Iglesias. Why do you talk so fast? Why do you talk so fast? Yeah, correct. Because we use do, the, the auxiliary do with the subject you. Correct. Very good, Adam. What about number six? Number six. Who can tell me? Number six. Maria de Lourdes, and then Maria Magdalena. Maria de Lourdes what? and her cat. The cat is in class too. What does, what does she think about the house? What does she think about the house? Correct, we use the auxiliary does with the subject she, so that's correct. El gatito está recibiendo clase también. Okay, <laughs> Maria Magdalena, number seven. Who's making? Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena, su micrófono. Maria Magdalena se quedó dormida con la mano levantada. Okay. Okay, who can help me with number seven? Enrique Perez. Eh, no. <clears throat> the number uh, seven. Yes. Hop on, hop on ten, do uh, your parent go to the beach. How often? Do your parents go to the beach? That is correct. Because when you say your parents, that's the equivalent of they, the subject they. So how often do your parents go to the beach? It's like, how often do they go to the beach? Si uno eligiera your father, sería he. Ya no concuerda. Okay, very good. Thank you, Enrique. Number eight, volunteer, please. Number eight, raise your hand if you know. David Antonio. And no mal que solo oyente. Ajá, David. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Dele, dele. Me 
pensil begitu lah lapar saya. Oke. Okay. Nah, Terima kasih. Terima The last piece. The class, the first option. This one right here. Or the classes. Not the class? The class. Okay. All right. So when you say the class, we're talking about one class. That means it. And when, when you use the subject it, you have to use the auxiliary does. When you say the classes, that's the equivalent of the subject they. It's different. So what is the correct form? What is the correct subject? The classes. The classes, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, so you say, what time do the classes finish? Because it's like, what time do they finish? Mm-hmm. We have a chat entry. Okay, welcome. All right, Cecia ya nos acompaña por acá también. Vamos a ponerle acá asistencia. Okay, number nine. What about number nine? Please raise your hand. Number nine. Baudilio. Vamos a ver si no me equivoco. Ok. Bro. Sorry. Baudilio, can you repeat that? Do live. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta completa, por favor? Compañero, ¿soy yo o a Baudilio no se le escucha? Hello. Hello, Baudilio, are you there? Hello. Ok, perdón, creo que hubo un problema ahí de conexión. No sé si de mi parte o de, de la suya. Puede repetirme la número 9, por favor. Who do you live with your brother? Uh, but you need to say, who do your brother live with or who do you and your brother live with? ¿Cuál sería entonces? Uh, the second option. The second option. Can you read the whole question? Who do? Live. Mm -mm, pero hay que leer la, la pregunta completa. Veamos. ¿Cómo sería? Who do? Live. And your brother? Live with. with. Okay. Live with. Who do you and your brother live with? Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Very good. And the last one. Maria Magdalena. Number 10, please. What is for does your sister? Practice, right? What sports does your sister practice? Correct. When you say your sister, that's the equivalent of she. So what sports does your sister practice? It's like what sports does she practice? Very good. I'm okay. sorry, teacher. Se me traba el, el, el mouse. Okay, don't worry. No hay problema. Problemas técnicos, dificultades técnicas. Okay, let's do this. Okay, uh, we have the second exercise now. Second exercise. Oops. Ah, okay, sorry. I, I was about to show you the... Oh, okay, here. Wait a second. Is it repeated? Ah, oh, it's repeated. Okay, sorry. It's the same. Okay, so uh, take a look. 
make questions, follow the example. So you have for here where she live. You need to add the auxiliary and say, where does she live? What about number one? Baudilio. Tiene la manita levantada. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, quedó ahí levantada. No problem. Okay. Okay, so who can tell me? ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Quién nos ayuda con la primera? Ever Enrique. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, that is correct. Okay, what do you want? Very good. Thank you, Ever. What about number two? You can help us with number two. Number two, please. Adán Iglesias. What does this word mean? What does this word mean? That is correct. Thank huh? you, Adán Iglesias. Very good. Number three. Volunteer, please. Voluntarios. Pero vamos, siempre quiero, siempre, siempre voy a insistir en esto y siempre, siempre quiero hacer hincapié. Participen los demás también, porque son, siempre son las mismas voces las que escucho. Hay personas que solo les escucho su voz cuando paso asistencia. Y de ahí, toda la clase, nada, nada de nada. Ok, vamos. La invitación siempre está abierta a que participen todos, de que lo intenten, que pierdan el miedo, que pierdan la pena, o lo que sea que los esté deteniendo, ¿verdad? Tratemos de participar. Number three, volunteer, please. Enrique Pérez. Yeah, number three. Mm -hmm. uh, what time is city moving start? Can you repeat it, please? What time? What time is it? What mm -hmm. time is it? Mm -mm -mm. You have to complete the question with do or does. Solamente oh. hay que completar con do o con does, nada más. Okay, entonces, what time, uh, what? Eche, pero no diría what time is do. No podía ir a la frase así. Dígame usted. <laughs> What, what, what do they miss mm -hmm. the movie star? Mm, no, sorry, Enrique. It's different. Uh, Maria Magdalena. What does they the movie star? Word order. Hay un problema con el orden de palabras ahí. Let's ah, see, Jose Benjamin. Jose Benjamin. Let's see. What times? Okay. José Benjamín, Davidia, Guevara. Este sería, teacher, what time does the movie start? What time does the movie start? That is correct. Okay. What time does the movie start? Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Number four. <laughs> Who wants to try? What's up? Okay, Baudilio. How much do those shoes cost? Uy, ¿cuál de las dos? Do or does? No. Okay. Dos, por decir, okay. Eh, toes. Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Can you repeat it? How much mm -hmm. do those shoes cost? How much do those shoes cost? Correct. When you say those shoes, that's like they. So how much do those shoes cost? Thank you, Baudilio. Number five, volunteers. Adán Iglesias. 
Why, why does she need money? Why does she need money? Okay, good. Number six, thank you, Alan. Number six. Number six, volunteer, please raise your hand. Vamos. Baudilio, okay, Baudilio, number six. How do this camera work? When you say this camera... Work. Aha, uh -huh, but um, this camera, that's the subject. One camera. Camera work? Aha, uh -huh. estamos hablando de una cámara, entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Oh, how does this camera work? How does this camera work? Okay. How does this camera work? All right, that's that's good. Thank you. What about number six? Enrique Perez. Number six. And... Number, number seven. Number seven. Okay. Number seven, uh, where does you buy your groceries? Where does you buy your groceries? Mm, no, the other auxiliary. Sería el otro. Uh, where, where, do, where, where do you buy your groceries? Where do you buy your groceries? That is correct. Where do you buy your groceries? Okay, great. Las groceries no son groserías, ¿verdad? Son las cosas que uno se come, que compra en el mercado o en el super. Those are the groceries. So where do you buy your groceries? Okay, good. Carlos Edgardo Cruz, number eight. Who do, do you want to see? Who do you want to see? Okay. ¿A quién quieres ver? ¿A quién quieres ver? Correcto. Who do you want to see? Correct. Thank you, Carlos. Number nine. Recuerden, cuando ya concluyó la participación, pueden bajar la manita, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, number nine. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Can you repeat it, please, Juan Francisco? Un poquito más fuerte. Se le escucha un poco. Um, Interferencia tuvieron, tiene. Como, como que tuvieron una almohada así en la cara. Interferencia. Okay. Hay interferencia, interferencia. Un poco de interferencia. Ok. All right. What sports does your friends practice? Is that what you said? Eso me dijo. What sports does your friends practice? Oh, oh. Okay. Let's take a, when you say, uh, can you give me a moment, please? Sorry about that. Okay, so um, when you say your friends, we're talking about several people. Son varias personas. So your friends is the equivalent of they. So what's the correct form? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería entonces, what sports do your friends practice? Because when you say your friends, that's they. Cuando decimos your friends, es el equivalente de they. Okay. Okay, number 10. I need a volunteer. Jose Benjamin. Is how often does 
Silvia by her brother. How often does Silvia visit her brother? Visit her brother. Yeah. How often does Silvia visit her brother? Yeah, correct. There you go. Okay, good. You're ready for the next exercise. Let's do this. Now, this is your turn. Match the questions with the responses. Okay, three are extra. Hay tres que no va a utilizar. Creo que se dice. Yeah, three are extra. So the word, the questions are, how do you pronounce this word? How do you spell your name? What does this word mean? How much does it cost? Do you know Anna? Where do you work? What do you do? How do you go to work? What time does the concert start? And what time does the train arrive? So these are conversations. Son conversaciones, ¿verdad? La respuesta va a determinar la pregunta que usted va a seleccionar. What about the first one? The response is with one C and double S. What is the question? If you know, raise your hand. Maria de Lourdes. How to just spell your name? How do you spell your name? Correct. The answer is with one C and double S. Very good. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Number two. Who wants to try? Carlos Edgardo. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a taxi driver. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Number three. What is it? Raise your hand if you know. Mm -hmm. Carlos Edgardo. How do you how do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? I don't know. Look in the dictionary. Aunque es posible. Es posible, pero um, hay una mejor. Ok, Cecia Gemima. But thank you, Carlos. Ok. What time does the train arrive? What, what time does the train arrive? Oh. Mm, no, sorry, Cecia. It's a, it's it's a different question. At, uh, number four. Mm -hmm. no, well, that's number four, but right now we're in number three. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, so... uh, what does this word mean? What does this word mean? Okay, I don't know. Mean. Look in the dictionary. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? I don't know. Look in the dictionary. Thank you. What about number four? Number four. Enrique. It's a number four. Sería este... What time does the train arrive? What time does the train arrive? All right. Bueno, mm -hmm. Gracias. It okay. It arrives at the station at four in the morning. Okay, thank you very much. Adán Iglesias, number five. How much does it cost? How much does yeah. it cost? $50, okay, $50. Thank you, Adán. Um, 
Yes, Enrique, do you want to try number six? Nope, okay, number six, volunteer, please. Carlos Edgardo. Out much, doens it cuts. That's number five. Esa es la número cinco que acabamos de resolver. What about number six? Paso entonces ahí, dice. Okay. <laughs> Juan Francisco Arrazábal, number six. How do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? But that's number one. Esa es la número uno que resolvimos. What about number six? Let's hear what what Karen Julissa has to say. Karen Julissa. Do you know Anna? Do you know Anna? No, but I know her sister, Elsa. <laughs> okay, number seven. Thank you, Karen Julissa. Very good. Frozen. <laughs> From Frozen, yeah. Okay, number seven. What's number seven? Maria Magdalena. How do you go to work? How do you go to work? I usually ride my bicycle, but I drive when the weather is bad. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Next exercise. <laughs> Complete the conversations. You have to use uh, questions in the box. The questions are, who do you practice with? The second one is, do you like sports? Next is, what sports do you like? Then does your sister play volleyball too? Then when do you usually practice? So it's a conversation. The first question is, do you like sports? And Liz says, yes, I do. I like them a lot. Okay. And then Joe says, really? What's the question? Cecia. What sport do you like? What sports do you like? Correct, okay, what sports do you like? And Liz says, well, I love volleyball. Then what's the next question? Okay, Maria Magdalena. And then Cecilia. When, you... when do you usually practice? When do you usually practice? On weekends. I'm too busy on weekdays. Okay, very good. On weekends means Saturday and Sunday. Weekdays is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so what about the next one? Karen Julissa. Who do you practice with? Who do you practice with? Who do you practice with? Yes, I usually practice with my friends from school. Thank you, Karen, Julissa. The next one, uh, Ever Enrique. Does your sister play volleyball too? Does your sister play volleyball too? And the answer is no, she doesn't like sports. She thinks they're boring. Yeah, creo que son aburridos los deportes. So she thinks they're boring. Okay, that is good. Thank you very much. Next exercise. We have more exercises to do. Unscramble the questions, then answer with your own information. So the first one is, you do like baseball. The question is, do you like baseball? That's it. What about number two? I mean, you have to unscramble the question and after that, you have to give me an answer, okay? Tienen que ponerlo en orden y luego tienen que darme una respuesta 
personalizada, ¿verdad? So, what about number two? Sports, what, do, watch, you. What is it? I need a volunteer for this. Volunteer? Cecia. Seria. What do you watch? Sports. What do you watch sports? Mm, not what exactly. What do you watch sports? Oh? No, not really. It's a bit different. What sport do you watch? What sports do you watch? Okay, that's more like it. Give me a moment. What sports do you watch? Okay, good. And what's your answer, Cecia? What sports do you watch? Uh, I don't watch a sport. I don't watch sports. I don't watch a sport. Oh, really? Okay. Then I need a volunteer to answer this question. Necesito un voluntario que conteste la pregunta número dos. What sports do you watch? Enrique Pérez. A ver cómo me sale. Este, por mí, what sport do you watch? Yes. Uh, I last week to watching uh, soccer. Uh, okay. The country England. Okay. All right. But the question is, what sports do you watch? Que sería, ¿qué deportes mira usted? Por la tele, yeah. por ejemplo. So, uh, first, vaya, primero, veamos acá. Si le hacen la pregunta, what sports do you watch? No puede contestar yes. Porque no es una yes, no question. Es una information ¿Cómo question. ¿Cómo contesta, teacher, entonces? Simplemente usando present simple. Si usted le pregunta, what sports do you watch? Usted contesta, I watch. Y luego diga los deportes que mira. <risa> Así de sencillo. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Veamos, Enrique. O sea, what sports do you watch? Uh, I watch to soccer. I watch soccer. Uh -huh. To soccer last week. No, not to soccer. Vaya, pero ahí tenemos otro problema. Si decimos last week, entonces usted me está contando acerca de una experiencia. Ah, y no, Eso es el pasado. Cuando ocupamos, present, cuando ocupamos el present simple es para referirnos, referirnos a lo que hacemos de manera habitual, ah, no lo correcto. que hicimos el fin de pasado. Entonces, Entonces el week, simplemente, por ejemplo, si usted me podría decir, what sports do you watch? I watch soccer, I watch basketball, and I watch baseball. Ok. End of story. ¿Cómo Gracias, sería? Teacher. Ajá, dígame entonces, what sports do you watch? I, I watch the soccer, uh -huh. basketball, uh -huh. eh, eh, volleyball. Ok, ok, good, good. Thank you very much. Ok, nice. María Magdalena, number three, please. What is... What sport do you play? What sports do you play? Okay, what sports do you play? I play soccer. <laughs> I play soccer. Okay, only only that? All right. What sports do you play? You say I play soccer. Okay, good. Okay, number four. Volunteer, please. Jose Benjamin. Uh, how often do you go the snowboarding? How often do you go snowboarding? So question, Jose Benjamin. How often do you go snowboarding? Oh, okay. How often? Three times a month. Three times a month? Really? 
tampoco. No, <risa> no. no hombre, pero en su sueño, ok. Pero hay que soñar, teacher. <risa> y dream. Ok. No, la respuesta aquí en El Salvador no se puede, porque no cae nieve. Entonces sería ocupando, vaya, eh. eso lo vimos la semana pasada, los adverse of frequency. ¿Cómo me contestaría eso? I I never Ajá I never I never I never is, is normal Le faltó el verbo principal I never I never Go snowboard no. sí, Ajá, ajá I, I never go snowboarding Ok Oh, yes <laughs> Ok, Gracias. ok Thank you You're welcome, you're welcome Ok, number five The last one, please. Number five, who can who can help us with this? Number five. Who wants to try? Number five, nobody, nadie. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Enrique. A mi ayuda, teacher. Démosle, pues. Sería este, who do you eh, play sport with? Who do you play sports with? Correct. Okay, yeah. who do you play who do you play sports with? Okay, good. So Enrique, who do you play sports with? Todavía me falta que traducirla bien al español para contestarle. Okay. Veamos, ¿qué, sin, qué significa qué significa with? Si es una preposición es con. Con, ajá, so, who do you play sports with? ¿Con quién, mm, quién? Hace, hace deporte o juega okay. a los deportes? Ok. Uh -huh. eh, what do you play? What do you play who? sports with? Who do eh, you play sports with? Uh -huh. Who? Eh, I play with family. My I play dad. with my family. Okay. Okay, you can say I play with my family or I play sports with my family. Okay, great. Very good. Nice. Just a moment. Okay. Okay, good practice. Okay, now we go with the knowledge check. Okay, esto es lo que está en la plataforma. Exercise 5.4 Knowledge Check Instructions Complete the Conversations with the Correct WH Question Words. Complete la conversación con la palabra WH correcta. Okay, so there's conversation one. Es el mismo ejercicio que aparece acá. Okay, so complete the conversation with the correct WH question words, then practice with a partner. So I need two volunteers. Necesito dos voluntarios para leer la primera conversación. Two volunteers. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? ¿Quién quiere intentar? José Amilcar. The microphone. A leer, ¿verdad? Yes, pero hay que, hay, hay que completar. Ok, <risa> pero necesitamos a otra persona. Es una conversación. O sea, usted y alguien más, no a otra persona. Ok, necesitamos a alguien más. So, um, a volunteer. Voluntario, vamos, sin miedo. A la one. Two. 
A la tree. Nadie mire. Ok. A la eh, one, two, three. Ok, Enrique. Enrique <coughs> is going to help you. Ok, so you are a... Now, let's see. Enrique, you are a... And Amilcar, José Amilcar, you are B. Yo llegué primero. <laughs> <laughs> Disculpe. Okay, no, okay. no, no, está bien, no hay problema. Démosle. <clears throat> bueno, Lady B, I watching sport of television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favor favorite. Um... How do you usually watch soccer? Mm, mm -mm. It's not how. Different question word. Mm. Veamos la respuesta para saber. La respuesta dice on Sunday afternoons. So what is the question word? Dice los domingos eh, por la tarde. Ajá. Eh, No sé qué preguntarle ahí, porque si él me va a responder que los domingos, uh -huh. podría ser que qué día o en qué ocasiones o con qué frecuencia lo practica. ¿Una sola palabra? ¿Cuál sería? Eh, Tiempo. Sería... ¿Qué día? ¿Cuándo? Pero es que dice us, usualmente, ¿Cuándo? o sea. ¿Cuándo? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Usual. Sería, sería cuándo. What is the word in English? Mm. No me acuerdo. ¿Cuándo va? Ok, the question is when. When do when? you use? Mm -hmm. When do you usually watch soccer? Mm -hmm. When, cuándo. When do you usually watch soccer? Ok, Enrique. On Sunday afternoon. On Sunday afternoons. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, no. Let's see. And blah, blah, blah. Do you usually watch at home? We're talking about a place. So what question word do you use when you want to talk about a place? Estamos hablando de un lugar. ¿Cuál es la WH word que ocupamos para preguntar por un lugar? Where. Sería where. Okay. And where do you usually watch it? At home? And the answer is no, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay. Thank you, Jose Amilcar and Enrique Perez. I need two volunteers for conversation number two. Please. Dos voluntarios para la segunda conversación. Ya solo nos queda un minuto. Veamos. No tengan miedo. José Benjamín. ¿Quién más? Wilber Rafael. Ok, so José Benjamín, you're A. Wilber Rafael, you're B. How do you go by Ravi? Le falta una palabra ahí después de how. how son, do, son dos palabras. How often do you go bike riding? How often do you go bike riding? Okay, Wilber. Oh, about. Uh, ¿Cómo fue? Once a month. Once a month. Okay. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Permítame que la mano me está estorbando ahí. Aquí está. Okay. okay. Really? 
Um, really? What do you go? Veamos la respuesta. Dice, usually at about one o'clock. So what's the question? Um, Se nos agota el tiempo. ¿Quién nos ayuda? Veamos. Ok. Really, when do you go? When do you go? Not exactly. María de Lourdes. Really? What time do you go? What time do you go? This is usually at about one o'clock. And the last one. Oh, yeah? What's the question word? Volunteers. When? Oh, I'm sorry. So oh, yeah, well, usually. Well, you have, uh, but the pronunciation is who? Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. Okay, everybody, thank you for your participation. I'm going to call attendance one last time. Una persona nos falta. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Está conectado Juan Carlos Portillo Arias? Mm, no. Okay, then. Teacher, es que lo que... Él uh -huh. este, participa en unos juegos aquí de la institución y creo que tiene... Él se encuentra deportivo, por eso nos presentó. Ah, bueno. Ok, thank you. Bueno, entonces, eh, de nuevo, vayan adelantando los ejercicios en la plataforma. Esta es la última semana, no se vayan a atrasar, por favor. Ok, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teachers. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. You tomorrow. You tomorrow.